All right, welcome everybody. In this video, I'm going to do a test of Windows subsystem for Android versus BlueStacks. And after the test, we are going to decide which one is better, which one should you use. So if you are here just for the answer, which one is better, as of now, BlueStacks is better than WSA or any other Android emulator is better than WSA. So that's your answer. You can leave now. But if you're here for the real answer why and how, then let's do some tests. So I have installed some applications. I don't need to install much applications to uh, test these two. Okay. So I have hill climb racing and some games and one application. And same thing goes for the um, WSA. I have installed a few applications and few games so let's just start with the game i have installed a very simple game like hill climb racing and fairly breaks so let's just go with the fairly breaks okay i'm gonna open it in wsa okay and let's see how long it takes and how's the graphic okay and all that i may have to turn down the volume again okay. so this is the max resolution and if you play the game in WSA with this resolution, this is the default resolution of WSA and there is no way to change the resolution in WSA. And who want to play like in tiny window if you really want to play the games? So you'll have to go full screen and you can see the graphics are terrible. And if we do the same thing on BlueStacks, it's going to look better. Okay, I'm going to go full screen and you can see graphics are better in BlueStacks. And in WSA, it's terrible. And we don't actually have a proper full screen button. It's actually a maximize button. That's all. Okay, even if we maximize on BlueStacks, the graphics are still looking better. So what the problem here is with the WSA is that we don't have the option to change the resolution and render settings. So that is the biggest problem with WSA. If you really want to play games, you cannot because the graphics are terrible and uh, heavy games cannot be played like PUBG or any other, you know, high end games, which requires you to have a good phone or good Android emulator or good PC. Okay. So gaming, no, absolutely not. WSA cannot do the gaming, okay? Uh, because, you know, WSA doesn't have these kind of settings for it. So BlueStacks has it like we can set the resolution for the BlueStacks and it will render all the games apps in those resolution. So I have set it to 1080p, so it's going to render all the games and apps in 1080p. But in WSA, I think by default, it's 480p resolution. This is the maximum resolution what WSA offers as of now. I get it. It's in beta preview. So maybe in future it will get better. But for now, it's terrible. OK, you can see the graphics are just OK. <laughs> So you can see, and we can't actually go full screen. So you can see ter terrible graphics. Okay, if we go to the blue stacks, which has a proper full screen um, button, and we can actually enjoy the game. And in blue stacks, you can play PUBG or any other heavy games. But in WSA, you cannot, just because of we don't have uh, options to change render settings or change the RAM, CPU, uh, the default settings for the WSA is terrible. That's all. That is the only reason you can't game on WSA. Okay, very simple and straightforward. So even though WSA comes with Windows 11, like it's a like built-in system feature and uh, you can actually download it, it's a feature made by Microsoft, so it should be better, but it's actually not. It's terrible. But if you want to use like a Android applications, let's say Spotify, just look at it. I'm going to go full screen or just maximize it. 
apps works better on WSA because some apps can adapt to whatever resolution we go on okay just like this one Spotify it goes blurry but in uh, full screen after that it goes back to the normal it just adjusts itself so in WSA you can like uh, use some applications uh, let's say Snapseed this is a photo editing application it will do the same thing it will readjust itself to whatever resolution we go on so yeah for the application I think WSA is cool because because we don't need to install a third-party application to just run a Android applications but not all Android applications will run so let's say for example sketchbook this one is like this application doesn't know how to readjust itself or if I go full screen it's gonna close itself this is closing itself because this application is not flexible it cannot readjust itself to whatever resolution we throw in okay so I think the web applications are going to be the best uh, applications to run on WSA because web applications can be flexible okay resize itself to whatever resolution we throw in okay so yeah some apps don't even work but in uh, bluestacks it will work the only reason is that we have the option to set our Android system to whatever we want we can set it to 1080p let's say now all the applications and all the games are going to render themselves to the 1080p and we won't have any problem so if we set it to 720p all the applications all the games is going to render it to 720p so hope you get the idea what I'm trying to say here okay so in WSA there is no settings so I think in WSA default resolution is 480p plus automatic I think so that's why uh, the applications we use on WSA gets confused yeah it doesn't know how to render itself because it doesn't have a proper settings or it is not properly set up so same goes for the let's say Google Play Store okay it will readjust itself to whatever size we try to bring in so I'm gonna go full screen just watch it it will go blurry and it will readjust itself re-render itself to the resolution we are trying to go in see so this is what I'm trying to say there is a automatic setting that is terrible for games and some applications and uh, gaming just forget it for now uh, on WSA you cannot do gaming M worst part is that we don't have a key mapping tool just like we have in Android emulators uh, it's okay I get it but what about the people who has touch screen tablet Windows tablet Windows 11 tablets what about them still a problem because if we want to play the game we can't go proper full screen that's one problem and another problem is that the rendering is terrible it renders to the 480p I think I yeah I think it's it just renders to the 480p default okay and if we maximize it it will still keep the 480p ratio and when we go to the 1080p like we maximize the game it will obviously go to the 1080p because this is the 1080p monitor and it's just gonna stretch itself and gonna look terrible okay <laughs> so yeah WSA is far away from being perfect or at least far away from being a competitor to Android emulators as of now so yeah if you seriously want to use a Android apps on your Windows PC especially the Windows 11 I think Android emulators are still better choice yeah because 
because you know the because because we have done the test and you know the results i'm going to give you one last example uh, this is my website and okay, blog actually okay and uh, you know it's in full screen but if i change the resolution or if i make it small it will adjust to whatever size we put in okay so this is what kind of applications WSA can handle somewhat of flexible and web apps only not real applications so that's why WSA is terrible okay so if you really want to use uh, Android apps on Windows with best quality best performance you want to get best out of the Android apps Android emulators are still the way to go. Yay. <laughs> yeah, I know it's in beta. Maybe in future we will get a bunch of options. You know, we have this Windows subsystem for Android settings. In here, Microsoft can put uh, a settings like how much CPU, how much GPU, how much RAM, what resolution we want to use for Android system. That that will change the entire thing. Then we won't need any Android emulator. Then everything will be okay. <laughs> but hope you got it. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm talking too much. I know that. Okay. So just in case, if you still love WSA, you want to use it. Uh, I will put a link in the description for the video where I showed you guys how to install WSA with Google Play Store. You can go there and watch that video. And just in case, if you don't have a blow stacks, then I will put link in the description for the Bluestack site. You can go there and download it. And uh, yeah, as of now, Android emulators are better than WSA. Okay, don't get too hyped. It's terrible. WSA is bad. Yeah, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.